Single turbocharger. When most people think of a turbo, they imagine a single turbocharger. The classic setup that defines the word turbo for many. But here's the fun part. By changing the size of the turbo's components, you can completely transform how an engine behaves. Bigger turbos are built for thrill seekers chasing high speed power, while smaller ones are perfect for quick city driving with that instant low end punch. They're insanely popular because they deliver huge performance gains without the bulk or cost of a bigger engine. Essentially, they let small engines hit way above their weight class. The downside? Turbo lag, that brief pause before the power kicks in. Still, single turbos dominate both everyday cars and the tuning world, where they're one of the most affordable and exciting ways to supercharge performance. Hey, just before we move on, be sure you hit that subscribe button to the channel for more videos like this. Twin Turbocharged Adding a second turbocharger isn't just for show. It's all about cramming more air into the engine for a bigger, more explosive power boost. More air means more fuel, and that equals serious torque and horsepower. In a twin turbo setup, one turbo often works with each bank of cylinders, especially in V6 or V8 engines, delivering smooth and balanced power. But the real magic happens in a stepped or twin sequential system, where a smaller turbo handles low speeds to kill that dreaded turbo lag, and a larger turbo takes over at higher revs for strong top end performance. The result? A broader, more flexible power band that keeps the engine responsive across the board. Of course, two turbos also mean double the complexity, and yes, double the cost, but for true performance junkies, it's totally worth it. Twin Scroll Turbo A twin scroll turbocharger is like a turbo with a smart upgrade. It splits exhaust gases into two separate paths before they hit the turbine, then merges them right at the inlet for maximum efficiency. In a four-cylinder engine, for example, cylinders one and four feed one scroll, while two and three feed the other. This clever setup prevents the exhaust pulses from clashing, kind of like giving each lane of traffic its own clear path. The result? The turbo spins up faster, power delivery becomes smoother, and then the engine breathes better across the entire RPM range. By channeling exhaust energy more efficiently, the twin scroll turbo pushes out denser, cleaner air for a stronger combustion punch. It's especially popular in smaller engines, giving them the kind of consistent, responsive power you'd expect from something much bigger, like what you'd see in the sporty Hyundai Veloster N. Variable Geometry Turbochargers The Variable Geometry Turbocharger, or VGT, takes turbo tech to the next level. Unlike standard turbos, it can actually adjust the size of the exhaust passage before the gases hit the turbine wheel. When that passage narrows, the exhaust pressure and speed shoot up, giving the engine an instant boost exactly when it's needed. That's why VGTs are such a game changer for heavy duty trucks, which constantly deal with changing loads and driving conditions. Sure, they're pricier and more complex, but the payoff is huge. Optimized power and efficiency across a wide range of speeds. Beyond just boosting performance, VGTs also help with engine braking, emissions control, and exhaust management. They're essential in modern engines that need to balance performance, efficiency, and strict emission standards, all while keeping things smooth and responsive on the road. Fixed Geometry Turbochargers the Fixed Geometry Turbocharger, or FGT, is the original turbo design, the one that started it all. Exhaust gases flow through its snail-shaped housing called the volute before hitting the turbine wheel that spins up the boost. The shape and size of that housing and wheel are fine-tuned to squeeze out the best performance possible, but here's the catch. Everything inside is fixed. That means designers have to find a balance that's good enough across different driving conditions rather than perfect in each one. The payoff is simplicity, low cost, and compact size. There's less to go wrong, and it's easy to maintain. However, because it can't adapt to changing speeds or loads, it's best for engines that run steadily, like those in ships, power generators, or industrial machines, where reliability and consistency matter far more than flexibility or lightning-fast response. Wastegate 
The wastegate, often called the turbine bypass, is one of the most brilliant additions to the turbocharger design. Its job is simple, but powerful. It controls how much exhaust gas flows through the turbine, preventing it from spinning too fast and keeping boost pressure perfectly balanced. The idea isn't new. Even World War II aircraft like the B-17 Flying Fortress used manual wastegates on their engines. Modern versions are far more advanced, using either pneumatic or electric actuators to precisely open and close a valve inside the turbo housing. When the engine's at low RPMs, the valve stays shut to help the turbo spool up quickly, but as speed climbs, it opens to let excess exhaust bypass the turbine, reducing back pressure and keeping airflow smooth. The result? Faster response, more power, and a turbo that runs efficiently across a wider range of conditions. Free Floating The free floating or fixed geometry turbocharger is the simplest type of turbo, but don't let that fool you. It's a raw, no-nonsense powerhouse built for serious muscle. With a single fixed AR ratio, it can't control its own speed or boost pressure. Instead, the engine does all the thinking, feeding it just the right amount of exhaust energy to keep it spinning perfectly. Now, back in the day, this was the very first turbo design, but today, it's evolved into a specialist dream, crafted to deliver maximum power and torque for gigantic engines found in off-road and earth-moving machines. These monsters, sometimes packing up to 110 liters of displacement, rely on the turbo's brute strength and cutting-edge materials, like titanium wheels and nickel-cobalt tungsten alloys that keep them running for an incredible 20,000 hours without missing a beat. Variable Twin Scroll Turbocharger the Variable Twin Scroll Turbocharger, or VTS, is where two brilliant turbo technologies, Twin Scroll and Variable Geometry, join forces to create something truly special. Inside its housing sit clever valves that control how exhaust gases flow. At low speeds, these valves channel all the exhaust into one scroll, helping the turbo spool up quickly and eliminating that annoying turbo lag. But when the engine revs higher, the valves smoothly adjust to split the exhaust between both scrolls, delivering maximum airflow and power. The beauty of the VTS Turbo lies in its balance. It's a powerful yet simpler and tougher than a variable geometry turbo. That makes it ideal for gasoline engines, which run hotter and can damage more delicate systems. In short, the VTS Turbo brings lightning-fast response, big power, and impressive durability all-in-one, intelligent, efficient design. E-Turbos The electronic turbo, or E-Turbo, marks a major revolution in modern turbo technology. Unlike traditional turbos that rely only on exhaust gases to spin the turbine, the E-Turbo adds a powerful twist, a small electric motor that helps spool it up instantly. This eliminates turbo lag and delivers sharp, consistent power across the entire rev range. What makes it all possible is the switch from old 12-volt systems to new 48-volt setups found in mild hybrids, providing enough juice to power that electric assist. But here's the really clever part. The E-Turbo can also act as a generator, capturing wasted exhaust energy and turning it into electricity to recharge the battery. It's efficient, fast, and futuristic. As more cars go hybrid or electric, e-turbos are set to become the new standard for performance and efficiency in the automotive world. Hot V Turbocharger A hot V setup is one of the smartest tricks in modern engine design. Instead of mounting the turbochargers outside the engine, engineers tuck them right inside the V formed by the cylinders. This tight layout doesn't just save space, it also shortens the path that air travels between the turbos and the engine. That means the turbochargers spool up faster, cutting down that annoying turbo lag everyone complains about. Plus, by placing the turbines and compressors on opposite sides, this setup keeps heat under control, preventing hot air from creeping into the intake and easing the workload on the intercooler. Mercedes-Benz was the first to bring this clever hot V design into mass production, and it completely changed how performance engines breathe. Quad Turbocharged Now here's the wild part about the Bugatti Chiron. It's the only production car on the planet rocking a quad turbo setup. Four turbos, all working together in perfect chaos and harmony. Bugatti didn't just slap them on randomly either. 
They engineered a system where two smaller turbos handled the low-end boost, keeping things sharp and responsive, while two massive turbos take over at higher speeds to unleash full power. All of that gets strapped onto an 8-liter W16 engine that sounds like pure thunder. The end result? A mind-blowing 1,500 horsepower had enough boost to send the Chiron flying past 300 miles per hour like it's nothing. And that's all for now, but please make sure you subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Also, turn on notifications and leave us a like. It really helps the channel out.